So this is literally uh, the number of people who are uh, greater than the median for the total sample of 45, which is a median of 4.00. So in the first location, um, the number of people who scored greater than 4 is 5, 5 people, and, but most people scored less than or equal to the median of 4, so 10. But in location 2, there's actually, this is where the difference is happening, there's a lot more people that scored greater than 4 standard drinks, 12 of them in fact, whereas only 3 people scored less than or equal to the standard drink of, of median of 4. And then location 3 had exactly the same frequencies as the first group. So these results, uh, and these results, these observations that are different, the observed frequencies, is statistically significant based on a Pearson chi-square test, and it's equal to 8.72, and the significance level is equal to p equal 0 0.013, which is less than uh, a nominal level of alpha of equal 0 0.05. So because this is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis of equal medians across the three locations, which was test, tested with a median test, which basically splits people into two groups. You're either higher or lower than the median, which, which is for the whole group. And those, obs those observations uh, are not equal to the expected frequencies because this is a lot higher. SPSS doesn't give us the expected frequencies for the median test, but we could do that through a traditional cross-tabbed analysis, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it is, is for two reasons. One, you get an estimate of effect size through phi or Kramer's V. And secondly, uh, you get more, uh, more information uh, than you would if you were to follow this up with post hoc testing. Now the median test that I've done, this is basically an omnibus. This is like a one-way ANOVA where I've looked at a bunch of means, but in this case medians is what I infer the results to. Um, in this case, uh, the location 3 and location 1 are exactly the same. So I know that there's no difference between location 1 and 3. And I automatically know that the difference between 1 and 2 is going to be significant, just as the difference between 2 and 3 is going to be significant. Because in this you know, unusual case, the results came exactly the same for location 1 and 3. But let's suppose they didn't. Or let's suppose it doesn't even matter. Let's say I want to look only at location 1 and 2 because I know location 1 and 3 are not different from each other. Well, if I did that through the median test, I would lose information by doing so. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me change the range from 1 to 2. And I click OK. All I get is an exact significance value. Uh, the median changed, by the way. The median for this uh, s simple contrast, if you will, this specified analysis to only look at 1 and 2. The median is actually 7.5 now. And the significance is equal to 0 0.027 for the difference between the medians, um, which is estimated by looking at the observations lower and higher. I don't get a chi-square value now, so and I also don't get any estimate of effect size. I'm getting a, an exact significance value. So SPSS forces you to do that in the median test uh, with possibly no real solid reason for doing so. What if I do want to get my chi-square value? What if I do want to get um, an estimate of effect size? Well, you're stuck if, you, if you're stuck doing only the median test. Well, well, let's do the median test from the ground up so that I can get more information. It's not hard to do. So this is how you do a median test from the ground up. You need to calculate the median for uh, the sample, which we know is 4, but we want that value for each observation so that I can calculate the difference. And then I can calculate the uh, number of people that are lower and higher. So SPSS now calculated the me, uh, median of 4 for each person. And now I can calculate the difference between that. Transform Compute. I'm going to calculate the difference. So the difference between 0 drinks and 4 drinks. So that's going to be a negative 4. Difference drinks minus drinks median. Oops. Click OK, which has now calculated the residual for each one. So observations that are equal to 0 
A couple of people actually scored exactly the median of four drinks for the